really need to find a new place to do these intro videos. Today is Friday the 7th of January 2022 and today we've planned a tour around Koh Samui Island to see some of the sites that Koh Samui has to offer. We're not going to be able to cover absolutely everything but we've picked some that we think are the main ones we want to go see like the waterfalls, the mummified monk, big buddha and things like that. But first of all we're going to take you to breakfast to show you what the Salavadi pool resort and spa has to offer. <music> So we are at Wat Racha Karaman on Koh Samui. Here's the Stone Snake Pagoda. An incredible sight here. And this amazing red coloured temple which is up here. That I'm just going to go have a look through now. It is roasting today. arrived at Wok and Aram to go to the mummified monk and discover it.
So guys, just got back from our little tour around Koh Samui. We were probably out for about five and a half-ish hours. Literally just made it back. Bang on, perfect timing as we have just got our first bout of Koh Samui rain. The weather up to this point has been absolutely amazing. Today, you just felt that extra bit muggy when we got up this morning and when we were walking around like the hotel before we got into the car. You could tell that weather was gonna break. So the tour that we just done was through our hotel via a company called Oceana Samui. We probably paid a little bit over the going rate for a tour that if you went into the town like Chaweng or Lamai, but anytime we were in Chaweng or Lamai, a lot of the tour operator places were closed. And because of that, I didn't know whether booking online through some of the tour operators was a good idea given the amount that were closed in the town. At least for the hotel, we were given some certainties that things were going to be open. The tour for us today for about five, well, five and a half hours, call it six hours. For two people, the total cost was 70 quid. So 70 pounds GBP, which works out about 3,200 baht-ish. Worked out about 35 pound a head for us. Obviously you add more people into the van because it's a private tour, you just fill up the van. And the great thing about it is it's not like the tours that I had in, in Mexico years gone by, where you wanted to go to Chichen Itza and then you got you got taken to a load of other places that you had no control over and you didn't really want to go see. This tour package, you book what you want or you go to see what you want. So if you didn't want to go see, for example, any of the waterfalls, you just say, I don't want to go see any of the waterfalls. You list out exactly what you want to do, which I think is fantastic comparative to fixed tours that there might be bulk in there that you don't really want to go see. I'd recommend it. It's as long or as short as you want it to be with a minimum of four hours. Equally, you could do less than four hours, but you're paying for four hours. Every hour thereafter is an additional 500 baht. And it, unless you exceed the hour or over half an hour over, they won't, they won't charge you. Like our driver just now could have charged us for two hours additional, but because it was only 30 minutes into the second hour, he just charged us for the one hour. All in all, we really enjoyed the tour today. It was at a nice pace for us, able to go get lunch. It made our lives a million times easier. Instead of paying for loads of small cabs to go to different places, it's just one, one glorified private cab that knows where everything is, knows all the roads, makes you feel safe, gives you a bit of a history around each of the places, knows what he's talking about, can tell you what's open, what's not on the day that you're there. It's really, it's really handy. I've really enjoyed it. We're supposed to be leaving in about five minutes to go see the elephant and the coast of moving weather gods have decided it's, 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 it's time to it's come to rain. So they need, the elephant need food about 10% of their body weight. So it means about at least 250 kilos a day for one elephant. <laughs> oh, so fine. Okay. Ah, perfect. Vent up, vent up, vent up, This is just to let you know that we don't keep them 24 hours.
Jesus. Fuck. Really flavorful in terms of comparing it to like Tiger and Curry that you get in the UK. It's a completely different flavor profile. A lot more um, coconut cream, but then the chili is like flavorful. Um, not just like heat straight off the back. Full of vegetables, chunky beef that has stewed for sure, just falling apart. Nice vegetables, but yeah, certainly carries a punch. Um, very, very nice. Fried banana, coconut ice cream, and